This is Psalm 64 and 2, and it reads, Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, in the KJV, okay? Let's read the NLT version, Psalm 64 and 2, in the NLT. And it says, Hide me from the plots of this evil mob. From this gang of wrongdoers. I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahakak, Wadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, taught me this truth. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect of Israel. Okay, and we're praying to the Lord to hide us from the secret council. The secret counsel of these wicked, wicked people. Let's go into a few of these words real quick. Hide me from the secret counsel. Let's get that from the secret counsel. It says Strong's 5475. It says, uh, Strong's H 5475. Sold. 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 Okay. And I believe that's in the, um, the Greek. So this is a secret council. I want to show you this picture on here. That's in the, so that's... Uh, Yiddish, so-called Hebrew. This is a. Uh, it says from the secret council, council, council assembly. Divan circle of familiar friends, um, assembly company. Secret council, familiar converse intimacy. Let's go to that root word here. Okay. It says, uh, Strong's age 3245. Yasad. 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 It says to found, fix, establish, lay foundation. Now they have a foundation laid and it's called the New World Order. Okay. This one world government that they're trying to push in the world. Okay. And you got these people here. I don't want to listen to that music. But Matt Wallace, you know, that's why they want to take Twitter down, man, because they're exposing these people. <laughs> His own people, Esau Edom's own people are exp exposing him. Okay. It says Kill Gates, the Rothschilds, Klaus Schwab, Anthony Fauci, blank, blank, we can't say that. Corrupt politicians. Okay. And if you look down here, <laughs> they got him on this, uh, this bus. They're saying wanted for war crimes. Crimes against humanity. Okay. So that's that secret council. These people can't get touched. Nobody's touching these people. Nobody's bring them to jail or anything. They, they walk around because they run the world because the devil runs this world right now. They all are servants of Satan. Literally, they're all servants of Satan and Satan and his minions run this world. Okay? We can actually get that. I'll come back to this Psalm 64. Let's prove that Satan and his minions run this world. This is St. Matthew's chapter 4 and 1. It says, The temptation of Yahweh Shai. We say Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. 
it says, Matthew 4 and 1, Then was Yahweh Shai led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Okay? Now, if you it, the so-called Christians think that the devil is in the bottom of the earth with a pitchfork and that he fights against God all the time. No, the, 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 the scriptures clearly tells us that the devil is a son of God. Okay? And he works on the left-hand side of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Now, who they eagerly call Jesus, he works on the right-hand side of Yahweh. Okay? Both sons of the Heavenly Father. Okay? And let's just prove that real quick and I'll come back. The point is, the devil is running this world right now, who is also a son of God. And guess what? The devil is clearly <laughs> doing everything that he's supposed to be doing. He's in order. Okay? This is, uh, this is Job 2. We can just start in Job 1. It says uh, Job 1 and 6, right? Job 1 and 6. It says, Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves. Okay, Job 1 and 6. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. Okay, you see? So how is Satan, for you Christians out there, how is Satan in the bottom of the earth fighting against the Heavenly Father? Somebody tell me that. Okay. You, you know, like, it says the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? So the Lord, the Most High, is asking Satan, Where you been at? What you been doing? What you doing? What's up? That he's not yelling at him or anything. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth and walking up and down in it. Now it leads me back to St. Matthew's chapter 4. So the devil told the Most High, I've been going up and down on earth and walking up and down in it. You think if the Heavenly Father wouldn't want Satan to be walking up and down on the earth, you think he would be doing it? Don't you know that the Most High has power over Satan? So Christianity is bugged out. This is St. Matthew's chapter 4 and 1. And it says, Then was Yahweh shot led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward hungered. <clears throat> and when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command these stones be made bread. So he was tempting him after he had fasted. Whenever you go on a fast, that's the time whenever you... <laughs> That's the time whenever you uh, you're purging all these things out of your body, and you know the, you get more into the spirit. You know you get more into the spirit, but your body gets weak, and you can have visions. You can you know be very tempted to eat something whenever that day of atonement comes around. You can be very tempted. Okay, whenever you hadn't had any water or any food. Like your brother, it says, uh, verse three or verse four. So the devil is trying to tempt the most high son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, Matthew chapter four and four. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word 
that proceedeth out of the mouth of Yahweh. Then the devil taketh him up into an holy city, and sitteth him on the pinnacle of the temple, and saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee. Okay? <laughs> Even the devil knows the scriptures. You see? Right? And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou shalt dash thy foot against a stone. Verse 7. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, and, and what he was saying in verse 6 was pertaining to the book of Psalms. Okay, chapter 91. Um, if, if, I'm, if I'm right. Uh, yeah. I almost want to get it just to prove that point. Um, we'll come back. Bear with me. Just to make sure. Just to make sure. This is Psalms 91. And, um, and it says, it says, uh, it says, <clears throat> yeah, this is Psalms 91 and 11. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. So Satan also knows the scriptures. He, he, he was trying to tempt our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, trying to tempt him into, you know, because he was very hungry. He was, you know, just got done, you know, fasting all that time, man. Okay. And that sounds good. I, I think I need to go on a fast really soon. It's good to do intermediate fasting. This is Matthew 4. And getting back to the point, I don't want to make this that long. And verses 6 again. And saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee. Okay, going back to that Psalms 91. And in their hands... They shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, in red letter here, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Okay? Verse 8, and here goes the point right here, proving that these devils, they run this world right now. Okay? You know? Until our Lord Yahweh Shai comes. And, and sits on his throne. Okay. That's why you got the book of uh, Revelations 12 and 12. For the devil was coming down with great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. The devil, you know, <laughs> the literal, you know, the literal devil that's in the heavens, not at the bottom of the earth. He knows that he's only had a few days. He knows that Yahweh Shai is to reign on earth, man. So he's letting his minions, these claw swabs and kill gates and all these damn white devils. He's letting them run rampant in the earth, man. He's turning it up a little, a few notches, man. Because he knows that he has a short time. Okay. And it's ultimately the will of the Heavenly Father. For these devils to try to implement their new world order. And just like he did Pharaoh. The Heavenly Father. Built Pharaoh up. Made Pharaoh proud. and uh, You know. Proud and thinking that he. Was going to do what he's going to do. Just like he's doing to these devils today. Making them very proud. Thinking they're going to get away with their new world order. Okay. But just like he did Pharaoh, he's going to do these damn devils today. So getting back to it, Matthews 4 and 8. And here's the, pro here's the proof. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceedingly high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world. It says, showeth him all the kingdoms of the world. Let me say it again. Showeth him all the kingdoms of the world 
and the glory of them. Verse 9. Here's the point, man. And saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Now, how the how the hell is the devil going to give them to our Lord, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, if they weren't in his hand? Going back to the book of St. Job 9 and 24, right? St. Job 9 and 24. And it reads, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So <laughs> the devil has a short time. His people, these cracker demons have a short time. Okay. They're not going to get away with this stuff that they're doing in the earth. Okay. It reminds me of another scripture. Yeah, look at this. You will own nothing and be happy. This is what they this is what they're pushing in the earth, man. The great reset. You see? <laughs> this is what they push. This is what they want, okay? But they're not gonna they're not they're not gonna accomplish it. I want to get a scripture. And I think it's in the book of Revelation because we can also prove, yeah, that that power was given him to take peace from the earth, right? Peace from the earth, right? Revelation. And six and four, is this the one that I want? And it says... And I'll start at uh, Revelation 6 and 3. Lord willing, this is it. I think this is it. And when he opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, come and see. Verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. Now, who gave this beast being that the Lord, being that the Lord, hey, what did the Lord say? What did the Lord say? The Lord said, I kill and I make alive. I make peace and I create evil, right? The Lord said, I gave this devil the power. Isaiah 45 and 7, right? The Lord, through the, Prophet Isaiah says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. So how is the devil and the Heavenly Father fighting against each other? We just read in Revelation 6, the Lord gave him power. It says, and power was given him. Right? It's like, yeah, I'm everywhere. And power was given him that set thereon to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Now who gave Esau the sword? Why do these white people take pride in their bombs? Who, 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 uh, who, uh, dropped the first atomic bomb on somebody? Was it not the white man? Because he has the sword, man. Going back to the book of Genesis. Uh, is it 27? Genesis 27. And and then uh, down here, this is uh, the story whenever Esau and uh, Jacob, you know, they were um, given the blessings, right? And... Um, it might be in uh yeah, it's down here farther. It says the stolen blessing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is uh, Genesis twenty seven, whenever Esau uh came into his father Isaac and you know Jacob had already left with the blessing. You know, it was already written. 
okay? And that's why these devils, <laughs> they can't get away from prophecy. They can't get away from who they are, man. This is Genesis 27, and I'm, and I'm trying to read this because Isaac gave, you know, Esau the sword. Genesis 27, and... And I'll start here at 35. And he said, thy brother came with subtility and have taken away thy blessing. Okay, because we know the story, you know, Jacob came in there, you know, trying to look like Esau with being all hairy. And the white man is the only man besides like Arabs and them that are hairy, man. You know, they got hairy backs, hairy legs, hairy everywhere. So-called black people don't, so-called, you know, you know, <laughs> Israelites don't have hair everywhere, man. We don't have all that hair. And that, and that red devil came out hairy, okay? Okay? Point blank period. It says, verse 36, And he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob? For he hath supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright. He didn't take it away. You gave it to him for some fast food, you red devil. He took away my birthright. Look at this guy, man. How did he take it away from me? You gave it to him for some fast food McDonald's that ain't even real. Shit wasn't even cooked all the way. And that's why you got fast food in this world. That, that's how you know Esau's running this world. That's how you know, man. He took away my birthright. <laughs> you gave it to him. Look at that shit. Anyway. Behold, now hath he taken away my blessing, and he said, Hast thou not reserved a blessing for me? Crying, man. And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants. So you're going to be a servant to us, you damn devil. And with corn and wine have I sustained him, and what shall I do now unto thee, my son? It says in um, verse 38, And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing? My father bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. So Esau started crying, man. You know, like a little, yeah. And 39, it says, And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, which they have right now. Okay, you go into these white people's neighborhoods, man, and they got trees and, you know, little doggies running around off the leash and shit. You know, <laughs> everything's all peaceful like that, uh, like that neighborhood in, uh, Edward Scissor's hands and shit, you know. Then you go across, around the corner. <laughs> then you go around the corner <laughs> and Jake got graffiti everywhere, niggas on the corner with 40 ounces and shit, you know. So they're, they're living in their heaven right now. It says... Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. Okay, they got all the resources, everything. Got all the gold stashed up in different places. They got their armies everywhere across the world. You know, their influence and their philosophy. You know, they got white man Jesus, you know. They got everybody worshiping them. Thinking that God is white. The angels is white. The Lord is white. <laughs> You know, very, very, very tricky. Very tricky. You know. Hey. <laughs> but it says, uh, and of the Jew of heaven. Fuck you. Fuck you. It says, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, and of the dew of heaven from above, and by thy sword shalt thou live, and shalt serve thy brother. Okay, so it says, By thy sword shalt thou live. By thy sword shalt thou live. Let me read it again. By thy sword shalt thou live. And Esau eat him as a, as a damn killer. He, he likes killing and getting away with it. Just like they did over in Israel right now. They bombed them hospitals and shit. Nobody's going to do anything to them. Because hey, it's their world right now, man. <laughs> going back to <laughs> Revelation 6, right? And 4. It says, and there went out another horse that was red. Esau is red as hell. Didn't he come out red? 
damn red devil. Okay. Didn't he come out red? I don't even want to go back to the book of Genesis. But I might have to. But it says, <laughs> and there went out another horse that was red and power was given him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. And everything this red devil touches, he destroys it. The, you got the you got the oceans that are messed up. The the air is messed up. Everything is poison. You got the food, all types of processed food. Now now they're trying to give you lab grown meats. Everything is fucking poison. Everything that this that that red devil Esau, everything that he has touched, he has destroyed it in the earth. That's why we need the Lord. You can't trust anything, man. You're trying to eat some vitamins and veggies. You're trying to go to Whole Foods and trying to act like you're going to cheat and get around and get some get some better stuff. No, you're eating fucking McDonald's everywhere you go, man. Everything's defiled. Okay? Everything. Fucking plastic all in the ocean. Everything is messed up. Pollution all in the air. Kim trails, politics, all this bullshit, man. Okay? So it says power was given. Who gave it to him? The Heavenly Father. Did not the Heavenly Father say, I create peace and I create evil? That's why you should be very afraid of the Lord, man. Power was given him that set their own to take peace from the earth. And guess what these dudes have done? They've taken peace from the earth. That's why even his own white people are, are calling his ass out. Even white folks is calling him out, man. There was a video here somewhere. Where did the other video go? Oh, there, yeah, there goes one of them. Yeah. So. This is a real bus driving around. <laughs> Going back to his Georgia Godstones, man. Maintain humanity up under 500 million. So this is the damn devil, man. These are demons, literally. <laughs> demons, man. Listen to this. David Rockefeller leaked 1991 speech at Bilderberg meeting, pulling strings to implement a world government. In 1991, at the Bilderberg meeting, David Rockefeller said that without the use of MSM, which is mainstream media, media organization, it would have been impossible for us to develop our plan. See, media, that word media goes into medium, man. That literally goes into medium, like medium going into witchcraft. Okay? So it says... It would have been impossible for us to develop our plan for the world if we had been subject to the bright lights of publicity. That's, see, the bright lights of publicity. Going back, let's go back to where we started, okay? Okay, Psalms 64. I knew I was going to come back here. So that's what we're praying to the Lord, man. He said it with his, he said, we from the bright lights of publicity. See, Esau Edom, he works in the dark, man, pulling his strings, just like Kill Gates went over there to Africa and gave all those kids all types of uh, maxis, maxi pads, if you know what I mean, those hokey pokies. Then all them damn African kids is coming up dead and this, that, and the other and getting all types of, you know, he letting mosquitoes out in places and shit, you know? Psalm 64 and 2, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. Let's get the NLT. Psalm 64 and 2 in the NLT, hide me from the plots of this evil mob. And this is an evil fucking mob, man. He just said it. He said it would have been impossible for us to develop our plan if we had been subject to the bright lights of publicity. <laughs> That's why that Epstein list just got, that motherfucking list got uh, uh, burnt up in a plane that got loose from the 
a plane supposedly got a uh, loose that had the Epstein list on it, didn't they? They don't know where the plane went. Guess the plane crashed. Whatever, man. All this bullshit. <laughs> hey, look at that, man. Look at that. Hey. <laughs> These fucking devils, man. Look at this shit. With private hands. Able to dominate the political system. Yeah, listen. Control to the Washington Post, the New York Times, Time Magazine, and other publications whose directors have attended our meetings and respected our policies of discretion for almost 40 years. It would have been impossible for us to develop our plan for the world if we had been subject to the right fight for publicity. But the world is now more sophisticated and prepared to march toward a world government reveals that these men aim to create a world system of financial control in private hands, able to dominate the political system of each country and the economy of the world as a whole. In short, they seek total and quiet control of the entire world. And the CFR is their most visible conduit for carrying out that agenda. God damn devils, man. That's why we need to get out of here, man. Psalm 64 and 2 again. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wet their tongues like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. Verse 5, they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune and lay in snares privately. They say who shall see them. And let me get that verse uh, 5 in the NLT. And it says, they encourage each other to do evil and plan how to set their traps in secret. Okay. Dude clearly said it would have been impossible with the bright lights and this, that, and the other. Yeah, see, there's fucking roaches. They're demons. They do all these things in secret, man. But we see you devils, man. Hey, and you're not going to get away with it, man. So with that, hey, shallow one.